down, you know, you know how we do. Be comfortable. Relax. <sighs> right. I don't know. I feel like as soon as you get up and you start doing stuff and you like look at your email or whatever, we, we kind of get built, start building the shell of the day. <laughs> um, so just notice if you've, if you've already kind of gotten a little bit of tightness around whatever has happened so far this morning and see if you can soften it or maybe it's you know from the week or whatever but if you notice a little tension in the body that doesn't need to be there see if you can just start to let that go right now as you lie down and then we'll use our breath to help along that path so take a breath through your nose inhale and just allow the breath to fill the body and then hold it and soften and then exhale let it go release the breath out through your mouth empty all the breath out give it a squeeze like pull the belly in and really squeeze it out and then filling up again through the nose inhale take a nice big full breath get all the way to the top holding it at the top relax your shoulders See if it's possible. Try and sip in a little more. Yeah. And then let it go. Exhale, big sigh. <sighs> All the breath out. So we're going to do like that one more time. Inhaling. And just slowly pour it in. Right, Pour it in, filling up, expanding all the way. Holding at the top. Right, And again to relax. And again to sip in a little bit more. And hold on to that and just soften here, right? Just holding the breath, feel the breath. And then open your mouth and exhale. <sighs> Release it all out. And start to breathe in and out through your nose. Cultivating our ujjayi breath. And so ideally, we'll maintain a steady breath in and out through the nose throughout our whole asana practice. Right, it helps to steady the mind, calm the mind, focus the mind, right, when we breathe like, kind of purposefully like this. But then also from a physiological perspective, your body really prefers us to breathe in and out through our noses. Right, it's actually a, a better, more effective, more useful breath in and out through the nose. So I'll remind you, right, but we'll keep coming back to this breath. And maybe occasionally, you know, we'll sigh the breath out, but steady inhale, steady exhale. Good. All right. And just gently waking the body up. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, and maybe you circle wrists and ankles. Oh, all right. Feel the feels. Yeah, take a stretch. Oh, maybe lean a little side to side. Uh, uh, uh. And circle the arms and hug your knees into your chest. All that stuff is very close to me. <laughs> Hug your knees, maybe rock a little bit side to side. And let's take the legs into the twist, bring them over to the left. <sighs> Easy twist. <laughs> yeah, reach out through the right arm, maybe turn the gaze to the right. And coming up to center, inhale to the middle, and exhale over to the other side. Oh, drop the knees down, stretch out through the through the left arm. And back to center. 
All right, so let's take a couple breaths and a quick thread the needle. So let's cross the right ankle above the left knee. Mm -hmm. And then just reach back and grab on and pull the legs in and start to stretch your hip a little bit. All right, and you can move a little bit side to side, or if you want to straighten the back leg, feel free to do that. You can grab on. It depends on how your hamstrings are feeling. So just check in with your left leg, but if that feels okay, go ahead and do that. All right, so while we're here and we're holding onto our leg, try and relax your shoulders away from your neck and just lift your head and shoulders up off the floor. Like we're going to turn thread the needle into core work. <laughs> so picking your head up, try and like get your shin as close to your chest as you can. Little bug. All right, and then we're gonna try and keep the legs this close, right? See if you can get your shoulder blades up off the ground. Yeah, and then just let go of the legs and reach your hands forward so you feel your abs engage a little bit and you feel some stretch. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good, and then use your back leg and really push with your leg. So you're using the left leg to try and keep your right leg as close as you had it before. Hmm. Take one more breath right here. All right, slowly come on down. Let's relax that. <sighs> All right, soften, release. And we'll switch and just start with the stretch. So cross the left ankle. And then pull your legs in. And you can use your hands for now. <sighs> and just let that stretch happen. My hips are a little sore. All right. <sighs> And if you want, you can straighten the back leg. See how your hamstrings feel. If it feels like too much, it's too much. You know, don't force it. All right. So we'll keep stretching, but we'll just kind of add a little bit. So you can keep holding on for now. Lift your head and shoulders up off the ground. Yeah, so hopefully you're still feeling stretch and maybe it's a little more stretch. Right, so keeping the legs pulled in. I don't know, the back leg could be bent or straight either way, but trying to get the shoulder blades off the ground and then letting go of your leg and reaching your hands forward, use your right leg to keep your left shin like super in close to you. And then hopefully you're still feeling stretch in the hip. Oh, squeeze into a little ball, get as close as you can. I know your hip has something to say about that. And then come all the way down. Oh my goodness. Okay, so switch back to the first side. Okay. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Just the ab work part, of course, but you'll still get some stretch. So if you want, you can start with your hands behind your head this time. <laughs> Take an inhale, exhale, lift your head and shoulders, switch your legs, yeah. And then let's come on in, <sighs> right, good. Good, so the leg will get however close. See if your back leg will straighten a little bit, cause maybe it will, maybe it will. And then this time reach more towards the sky, right? So we're reaching up instead of reaching straight ahead and see if you can get your shoulder blades to come a little more off the ground. Oh, and pull that shin in as much as you can. Curl your sacrum off the ground if you can. Take one last breath, reach for the sky. Oh, and then release all of that. Oh my gosh, my abs, my abs. I did a bunch of ab work yesterday and my abs are kind of sore already. <laughs> all right, switch to the other side. We're gonna do one more time. <sighs> last one. So feel free to start with the hands behind your head just to give your neck a little bit of a break. Take an inhale. Exhale, head and shoulders, come on up, and then legs come in. Mm -hmm. Try and curl the sacrum off the ground, and then maybe the back leg can get a little straighter, maybe all the way straight, just see what happens. And then let's reach for the sky. Oh, just reaching straight up, curl the sacrum off the ground, or try to. Touch the ceiling, touch the tree branches. <laughs> I almost feel like I could, but I can't. Oh, all right, come on down. Let it go, release it. Ah, the whole thing, relax your belly. Ah, you can extend out through your legs. Take a moment. All right, let's come on up to seated. 
So you can roll to your side or roll forward and back a couple times. <sighs> yeah, come all the way up. We'll just sit some sort of cross-legged, whatever works. All right. Relax your shoulders down. Take an inhale, reach out and up, big stretch. Ah, pressing the palms. Let's bring the hands to the heart. We'll pause here for a moment and just set an intention for your practice. And so maybe you reaffirm why you came to your mat this morning, came to yoga class. Right if you have an intention. Just a little something, right, to give you some motivation. Kind of elevate your practice, offer it up. All right, take an inhale. And sigh it out, exhale. Release the hands down. Feel free to keep your eyes closed. You can open them if you like. Inhale, reach up for the sky. Uh, exhale, let's take a quick stretch over to the side. Yeah, lean in, relax the left shoulder down. Wait, right shoulder down. <laughs> yeah, you can go that way. <laughs> I'm trying to talk, say the proper thing, but you know. Inhale up to center. <laughs> exhale over. Oh, right, stretch the right side. Good. Uh, up to the middle, reach up. And we're going to bring the hands behind the back. So come on back. Interlace your fingers. Reach the knuckles back and down. Yeah, lift the heart up. Take an inhale. And then exhale any amount forward fold. So however far, your arms can be straight or bent. You can squeeze the heels of your hands together if you like. Take one more breath here. And come all the way back up. Oh, release it. Good. Switch the cross. Yeah. All right, awesome. Uh, let's stretch for the sky. Reach up, inhale. And one more time, side stretch. Let's go the other way first this time. Lean. Maybe you get a little deeper into the stretch. You don't have to. Just see how it feels. And up through center. Yes. And over to the other side. Oh, that's it. Good. Back up to the middle. Reach up. And we'll do the opposite interlace. I feel like there's grass on me. We'll do the opposite interlace. <laughs> yeah, it sticks to you. Reach. <laughs> ah, nature. <laughs> Up and over into the fold. Oh, my goodness. All right. So you bring the arms up and over any amount, right? Whatever feels okay in your shoulders. You can straighten the arms, bend the elbows. Take one more breath. Let's come back up, reach the knuckles up and back and ah. Let it go. Give the shoulders a quick shake. All right. Let's come over hands and knees. Do a quick cat cow or two or three. All right. So tabletop. Yeah. And then as you're ready, just move with your breath. Oh, stretch your abs. My abs are so sore. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stretch it. Exhale, round. All right, two more like that. Just moving with your breath, that same nice steady ujjayi breath. Last one. Lifting the chest, stretching the belly. Exhale, rounding the spine. All right, coming back to center. Or more of a neutral spine. Um, you can stay up on your hands if you like. You can also come down onto your forearm. So see, see how that feels. Maybe separate the hands if you're coming down onto your forearms. So let's reach the right leg back. Drop the outer right hip down for a moment, just so we feel that squaring of the hips. Hug the ribs in. Lengthen the left hip back, right? And try and lift the right leg a little higher. Just like give it a little juice. And send the heart forward, All right? Keep the belly lifting. All right, take an inhale. Exhale, pull your knee right in towards your face and really round the spine. Tuck the tailbone. 
Then bring your knee out to the right and lift it up as high as you can. And like you're drawing a circle with your knee, circle it around and pull it straight forward, round the spine, and then up and out. And the biggest circle you could possibly make with your knee. One more time like that. Forward and up and out and around. And this time as you bring your knee forward, reverse the circle and go back and lift it up and out, ah, circle and up and out and around, circle. And one more time like that, up and out and around. You can really feel your hips. Reach your right leg straight back and come back to our starting position. Neutral, the hips to the floor, right? Square off, lengthen the left hip back, press the right thigh, and then, and then bring your leg down. <laughs> Sit back for a second, take a moment, I know. That really was the starting, starting position, though, so my bad. <laughs> okay. All right, back up. <sighs> Left leg up. So you can bring the knees a little closer. I think the balance is slightly easier if you do that. And then send the left leg back. So we'll, let's, this will be our starting position. <laughs> Outer left and down. Lengthen the right hip back and then lift the belly because right, as we pick the leg up, we kind of want to spill the belly to the earth. So keep the belly lifting and lift the leg, right? So you start to feel some squeeze in the glute. Take an inhale and let's start our circles. Exhale, pull the knee in, ah, rounding the spine. Sweep it up and out and around and just take your time, right? You don't have to rush it. Ah, really get the full range of motion. One more time in that direction up and out however high it'll lift pull the knee forward and then reverse the circle and just notice if this side feels different right do you have more or less range of motion do you feel it in a different way i don't know just see how this side feels one more circle like that up and out and around and as you reach the leg back send it straight back right and then again squaring the hips lift the belly Try and find that position that we, before we started the circles, pick the leg a little higher up, yeah, and then come on down. Ah, sit back, take a moment, relax your shoulders. All right, that's good. Downward facing dog. So as you're ready, come on up. Ah, oh, right, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Pressing back, if you want to pedal the heels a time or two, right, or you guys know, do a little wiggling around. You don't have to, but if you, if you want. And stretch the heels back and down as you start to settle in. Right, relaxing at the base of the neck. So there's a little bit of ease there as much as your shoulders are working right the neck can lengthen and fire up the legs so as the heels stretch back and down press the thigh bones like you're going to push your thigh bones into your hamstrings into the backs of your thighs right, let your body stretch and get long Take one more inhale here, stretch back. Exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Let's hop forward, jump forward. Bring your feet to your hands, yeah. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, folding back down. <sighs> inhale, firm your glutes, lift the chest, reach up, maybe look up. Exhaling, hands to heart. Just pausing here briefly. Dropping the gaze, just, you know, feel the feels. Let's start doing some sun salutes. Let's release the hands down, turn the palms out. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, up and over, hinge at the hips and fold in half. Inhale, lift the chest, come up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands. Take a step, reach the right foot back and just take a moment in the lunge, let the hips sink down, oh, feel that stretch, then get strong through the arms, press and lift up and step your left foot back so you're in plank. Okay, oh, hello plank, 
first plank of the day, send your heart forward, right? And then press evenly through the hands, right? Press the index finger knuckle, press the thumb, take one more breath, belly lifting, inhale. Exhale, come on down, lower to the earth. Ha, ah, flatten your feet, reach your hands back. Let's do Shalabhasana. Curl the tailbone under. So the pubic bone is pressing down to the ground. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the legs. Hug the legs together, stretch back. Good, come on down. <sighs> Let's interlace the fingers above the sacrum or the tailbone. Curl the tailbone under again. Lift the front of the shoulders, reach the knuckles back, lift the chest. Ah, oh, yes. Good, breathe. Little higher, inhale. Come on down, exhale. Switch the interlace. Do that again. Tailbone under. Lift the shoulders up. Reach the knuckles back. Right, really opening across the front of the shoulders into the chest. Take one more inhale, press the thighs up. And come on down, exhale. Release the hands. Little waggle of the hips. Planting the palms by the ribs. Tuck your toes. Take an inhale. Exhale, press the earth away. Come to plank, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right. Stretch back. Take two more breaths here, right? Hugging the tricep in that outer seam of the arm. Try and wrap it in. Take one more inhale, get a little longer. Exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk forward, float forward, feet to hands, halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Coming all the way up, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands through the midline, and we'll just keep going. Hands down, palms out, inhale. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down, step the left foot, and just take a breath in that stretch. Just let the hips sink down. Oh, right, and then pressing through the hands. Lift the hips, straighten the back leg, step back plank. Hmm. Right, so again, trying to be even through the hands, right? And then squeezing the arms like you're trying to lift up out of your shoulders. Pull the belly in, take another inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, slowly lower, pass through Chaturanga. Hello, Chaturanga. All the way down, flatten your feet. <sighs> Shoulders away from the neck. Come up, cobra pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Press the tops of the feet. Peel the chest up. Hold it up. Float your hands up off the floor. Yeah, so you're really using the upper back. Press the pubic bone down. Try. Notice that probably makes your butt squeeze. Fine. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, come on down. Ah, take a moment, soften. One more time, cobra pose with your hands on the ground. Curl the tailbone under, lift the chest. Inhale, come up, hug the elbows in, scoop the heart, and head right back to down dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and press on back. Oh, all right. So let's bring the feet a little closer together and then we'll send the right leg up and back into the air. Turn the toes out, lift the hip and the knee. Come into the stretch. Yeah. Take one more breath and then we'll square the hip off, straighten the leg, that's it. Press the left thigh back. Take an inhale. Exhale, pull your knee towards your nose. Stay forward, touch your left arm, touch your right arm, and then knee all the way up and back. And do that again, come forward, knee to your nose. And then touch your left arm. 
and touch your right arm and reach it up and back. And do that one more time, knee to your nose. <laughs> Left arm, oof, right arm, reach it all the way up and back. Inhaling, exhaling, the foot to the ground. You can come down and rest, or if your shoulders, your arms are doing okay, we'll head right into the other side. So as you're ready, left leg lifts. Turn the toes out with the hip and the knee. Hmm. Yeah. One more breath here. And squaring the hips off, straighten the leg, press the right thigh back, take an inhale, exhale, knee to your nose, shift forward, and then come across, touch the right arm, touch your left arm, reach the leg up and back. Again, forward, nose, right arm, left arm, reach it up and back. And one more time, forward nose, Right arm, left arm, reach the leg, inhale, exhale the foot to the earth, press back, inhale, exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, walk forward, jump forward, feet to hands, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, coming all the way up, exhaling, hands to heart, and just pause here, take a breath, inhale. And maybe just sigh it out to soften. Exhale, release the hands down. Yeah, your shoulders. Okay, let's do a regular A sun salute. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, up and over. Hinge at the hips and fold in half. Inhale, lengthen forward, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands. You can keep stepping if you like, jump back. And maybe this time, chaturanga. To upward facing dog. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> to downward facing dog. <sighs> right, my abs are sore. <laughs> so all the back bends are like, oh my God. <laughs> I did like this 20 minute <laughs> mega core. I'm like, I have to record this for that. <laughs> <laughs> for the for our online channel and <laughs> this needs to be there okay one more breath <laughs> inhale exhale lift the heels bend the knees walk forward float forward feet to hands halfway lift inhale fold exhale from the glutes inhale come all the way up exhale hands to heart good let's do chair pose inhale Exhale, bend the knees. Try and touch the earth, right? And then keep that big bend and lift up. Lift the chest, reach the arms, good. Glutes squeezing. Here too, we can melt the shoulders away from the neck as we lengthen up through the pinky edges of the hands. Sitting back into the heels. Take one more breath. Maybe shift the gaze up towards your thumbs. Take an inhale. And let's fold, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen forward. Exhale, bend the knees, hands are down. Again, maybe stepping, alternating the feet, or you can hop it back, vinyasa, or straight to down dog. See how you feel? Good, all right. Let's send the right leg up into the air. Inhale it up. Uh, we're gonna do those circles again, but we're gonna shift forward to plank. So as you pull the knee forward, like we just did, but then swing it out to the right and make a big circle and go back to down dog. And then do that again, pull the knee forward, sweep it past your right arm and then up into the air. One more time like that, forward, out and around. Back to your down dog. Now we're gonna reverse the circle. So lifting the hip and bending the knee, shifting forward, bring the knee towards the outer upper arm and then pull it through the middle and up and back and out and forward and pull the knee through the middle. And one more time like that, up and out and around and towards the right arm and through the middle, reach the right leg straight back, inhale. Set the foot between your hands as you exhale. All right. Oof. Come on up, crescent pose. <laughs> like, 
run out of breath, draw the right hip back by, by scissoring your feet, kind of pull your feet towards each other. Relax the shoulder blades down and start to lift the chest up. Like you're scooping your chest up with your shoulder blades. <sighs> Try and send the tailbone to the earth. Take one more breath, press the upper arms back, inhale. Exhale into the twist. Bring your left hand to the ground or block. Reach the right arm up into the air. <sighs> press the back leg really nice and straight. Mm -hmm. Draw the shoulder blades out of the ears. Take one more breath, reach up. All right, then slowly, we're gonna rotate a little bit more to the pinky edge of the left foot, your back foot. Let the sole of the right foot lift up. Let the knee kind of fall open. So you're just on the pinky edge. Oh, and maybe you feel a little stretch in your right hip. Maybe. Take one more breath, reach, and then bring it all the way back around. Right hand to the ground. Yeah, and step back plank. Oh, and just feel your hips. Take a vinyasa. Notice how your two sides feel, right? I'm thinking there'll be quite a difference between your two sides right about now. Okay, fantastic. Send the left leg up into the air. Yeah, and we're gonna do that same uh, fun with the circles. <laughs> so coming straight ahead, pull the knee through, right? Sweep it past your left arm and up and back and you're back into your down dog. And then forward towards plank, sweep it past your arm, lift it up and back, and one more time in that direction, forward, and up and out and around. Yeah, and this time, as you come forward, let's send the leg back, peel the hip open, and then open hip, knee comes forward, and then we circle it through and lift it up and back. Lifting the hip, shifting forward, yeah. One more like that. Everything up and out and around. <sighs> and then we reach the leg straight back and pull it straight forward. Step the left foot through. Whew, all right, crescent pose. Come on up. <sighs> all right, lift the hip bones up. So you feel some length in the lower back. Right, yeah, and then we'll pull the feet towards each other so we get that firming back of the outer left hip, back and in. Right, gently lifting the heart up. <sighs> right, keep trying to scissor through the legs. It'll help, maybe anyway, with the balance. Press the upper arms back, take one more breath, lift the chest up, and then releasing the right hand down into the twist. Right hand to the earth, reach the left arm straight up, pulling the shoulders away from the neck, pressing the back leg really straight, lifting up. Awesome. Breathe. And then adding that a little bit more rotation, turning to the pinky edge of the right foot, letting the left toes lift up, let the sole of the foot peel away from the floor, let the knee go out to the side. And hopefully, maybe, you get a little stretch in the outer left hip. Take one more breath. Oh, it's good for your arm. Come on down. <laughs> and then as you're ready, step it back. And you can take a vinyasa or not. Right, it's up to you. Oh, the stretch is so nice. You can always rest in child's pose. Right, that's always an option. And if you like, you can sigh the breath. But you know, you know, we're trying to get back to that Ujjayi breath. Good, okay. Stretching back, take an inhale. Exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees. Walking forward, jumping forward, bringing the feet to the hands, halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair pose, bend your knees. Reach the arms, yeah. So breathing here, right? Smoothing out the breath, sitting back into the heels, relax the shoulders down, press the arms back, lift the chest up. Good, bring your hands to your heart. 
lengthen forward inhale and come into the twist bring your elbow outside the knee and you know what for today let's just let the left knee push a little forward let it push a little forward press into the palms open the chest right think about lengthening right so the sit bones reaching back and your heart coming forward yes nice <sighs> one more breath come back to chair we're just gonna head right into the other side i know inhale lift just keep breathing exhale hands to heart inhale forward exhale twist so let the right knee push a little forward it's okay press into the palms open the chest the knee moving forward will give you a little more freedom right you'll give it a little more freedom maybe gazing up if you like good take one last breath maybe sit the hips a little deeper sweep back through your chair pose inhale lift up oh my goodness exhale fold oh take a breath in the fold and smooth it out all right halfway lift inhale dip the belly exhale bend the knees hands are down walk back jump back take a vinyasa or go straight to down dog if you need a moment in the child's pose feel free to do that yeah ha ah, downward facing dog okay let's lift the right leg up into the air inhale exhale use your abs pull the knee forward step your foot between your hands for a breath crescent pose we're not going to stay there very long come on up yeah right hip back so we want that plugging in and then warrior two hands to your heart drop the back heel so your heels line up with each other and then we open up yeah so we want that stretch right look for the stretch by making space and also bending and squeezing your butt that helps too <laughs> so as you squeeze your glutes can you also straighten the left leg your back leg so the glutes squeeze and you press the thigh into the hamstring both oh okay really start to feel the work in the legs relax the tops of the shoulders and squeeze the arm straight use your triceps right we build a big strong muscle there as we do our practice <laughs> right your hips straighten your right leg trikonasana go forward zipper the belly reach and then just let the hand come down wherever it naturally does open up right so the glutes are still squeezing and we're still straightening that back leg right press the thigh back lift the kneecap up yes maybe seeing your thumb up there squeeze your glutes take one more breath here keep squeezing your glutes bring the gaze down press into the back foot lift up into the reverse reverse trikonasana heart to the sky right keep the reverse bend the front knee deep bend yes come back up inhale Utita. So forearm to knee. I just got to move my foot a little bit. Forearm to knee, or your hand can come down to your ankle, to the earth. Open the chest. Press the knee open and squeeze your butt under. Take the top hand, spin it forward, and reach overhead. All right, hug the ribs in. As you try and open the chest, spin your heart open to the sky. Yeah. And yes, exactly, Rachel. I was gonna say what you just did. Reach the top arm long overhead, right? Really make a nice long line of the left side. Pin the pinky edge of the foot. Get long, one more breath, hug the ribs in. Woo, push into your back foot, inhale, lift up. One more reverse in the warrior. Oh my goodness. All right, come up, inhale. Come down, exhale, all right onto your into your plank sorry into your plank pose and then onto your left forearm left forearm down tuck the elbow under your shoulder bring the big toes to touch let's spin and do a forearm vashisasana reach the right arm up tailbone long 
Okay, don't kill me, but <laughs> we're gonna try and float the right leg. Just start there. And then if it's possible to do those knee circles, pull the knee in, reach it up and around. Yeah, and just see if you can circle it out a few times. Whoa, the knee stays bent and you're just trying not to fall over basically. Whoa, okay, I think three is good. Straighten it out, press up. And then let's bring the right forearm also down onto the ground. Oh, we're only doing one side now though. And to your sphinx pose. Oh, maybe lift the elbows if you want a deeper stretch. You don't have to do that, but it's an option. Oh my gosh. And then come down and just feel the feels on your two sides. This is a nice neutral position. So just feel the feels. Breathe. Notice your breath. All right, let's do one more sphinx. Or maybe you're lifting up a little bit in your sphinx. So elbows under, hands shoulder distance. All right, lifting the heart through. Melt the pubic bone down. Maybe lift the elbows and straighten the arms. Shoulders still back and down. Oh, that stretch is delightful. Heart's lifting, pubic bones melting down. Oh, and then come on down. All right, so we're heading back into our forearm plank to make our way back up into our downward facing dog, one step at a time. So forearm plank, tuck the toes, peel up. Ah, oh, right, and just to kind of work on that Push strength. Let's come on in to press the left hand into the earth and then press yourself back up to plank. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> downward facing dog. All right. Yes. <laughs> we'll just get to down dog if that other thing didn't work out. <laughs> All right. Lifting the left leg up into the air. Inhale. Exhale. Round the spine, pulling the knee through. Squeeze and step and crescent pose again just briefly on this side, come on up. So we just really wanna get the feeling of the front thigh kind of hugging back because of warrior two, we get a little spread out. So find that engagement and then let's open up, right? Back heel to the ground. I always need a little more length front to back and then probably you need to just squeeze it in a little bit side to side. <sighs> right, so as we lengthen the front knee away, look for the stretch. Right, we want that. That's one of the really sweet parts about this pose. Shoulders melting down, squeeze your glutes. And as you do, straighten the back leg, right? Really push the thigh bone into the, into the hamstring, the back of your thigh, right? So it's a, it's a counter action to the squeezing and this knee opening, right? Straighten, <laughs> breathe into that, right? Arms nice and strong. <sighs> Right, smooth out the ujjayi breath. We're really just doing all this to see if we can keep breathing smoothly through all of it. You know, it's challenging our breath. Let's treat Konasana, straighten the front leg, right, and then go forward. And just find that stretch. Oh, let the hand land wherever it lands. Top arm comes straight up, right, legs active pulling the kneecaps up, and as much as we're engaging our glutes, still pressing the back thigh straight. Right, opening the heart, gazing up towards the sky. See your thumb up there, but not to see your thumb, but just to land your gaze. One more breath. Strongest legs, looking down, press into the back foot, lift up, head into the reverse. Ah. Oh. Opening the front of the hip, keep the reverse, bend the front knee. Hmm. And then we'll come up into our utita. Lift up and then form to knee. I just that moved my foot back a little bit. Form to knee or hand to the ankle, to the ground, reaching up, hugging the left hip under. Turn the top palm, reach it overhead, maybe gazing up at the sky. Press the back leg straight again, right? And then think about a long line from the outer edge of the back heel all the way up and out through the left finger, right fingertips. 
bend into the front knee. Oh, one more breath. Push into the back foot a lot. Inhale, lift yourself up. Take the reverse. Oh, so right, feeling that hip. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to the floor. We're stepping to plank. Oh, so you can feel you can feel the, the left hip, I'm sure. So we'll come down onto the right forearm. So the left hip is the top hip. Spin to the pinky edge. Oh. So just for a moment, find your forearm vashisthasana. And this may be enough, right? But consider lifting the top knee, leg, foot, whatever. Pull the knee in and then just bent knee circle. Whoa. And the challenge is, can you circle and not tip over, I guess, which is a pretty tall order, frankly. Do one more circle or try to, oh, and then straighten the leg back out, and let's come down into our forearm plank. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, hold that for a few breaths. I know. Tailbone under, heart forward, and then come down. Oh my gosh. Lift the chest. Oh. <laughs> Maybe with the elbows up. If you want, you can bend your knees. Oh, get a little extra. Okay. And come on down. As if we're going to touch our feet to our heads. <laughs> you never know. You might. Okay, one more time like that. Come on up. So that's a version of Kapotasana, actually, pigeon pose if you actually get your feet to touch your head, but we're just doing a variation until that happens, which maybe never, <laughs> kind of resigned myself to that's probably never gonna happen, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Lifting up, what we want is to be nice to the lower back, right? So the, the beauty is the stretch in the front of the body, right? And the extension in the, in the thoracic spine. Oh, maybe bend the knees. Oh, I'm totally going to touch my head. I can feel it. Inhale. Slowly come down. Exhale. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's close. <laughs> oh, all right. <sighs> I would need like a, a winch or like something. <laughs> to like seriously pull and even then I don't know that I'm supposed to do that <laughs> oh yeah forced to don your asana okay <laughs> all right back up onto our forearms <laughs> one more time forearm plank oh feel yourself up okay so this time we'll lean into the left arm and plant the right hand and see if we can push ourselves back to plank. <laughs> Exhale, down dog. Feel free to take a vinyasa. Oh, stretch back. Good. Okay, nice. All right, downward facing dog. So just for fun, we're gonna try something here. Um let's actually just walk the feet a tiny bit in from the back of your mat and then let's stand on the right leg first so we'll pick the left foot up and cross your ankle in front of your left on top of your right knee rather and then walk back so you have like a thread the needle thing happening with your legs walk your hands back and let's just balance on the right foot and stretch the hip yeah Okay. Oh, yeah. Breathe here. All right. So this is going to be super fun. Phase one or two or wherever we are in this <laughs> is can you put your fingers on the floor? And you, the answer may be no, and that's fine. <laughs> and that is okay. If you happen to have blocks, you can aim for, for blocks, but try and put them flat. If your hands actually touch the ground, then see if you can put your hands flat. So that's the next thing. Yes. Okay. This is Ekapada 
Kundanyasana. No, sorry. Ek, uh, Ekapada Galavasana. Sorry, mixing up my flying poses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your elbows tuck in like towards each other. And then your shin tries to go in your armpits. Literally. Like you really want to get your shin as much into your armpits as you possibly can. Try and hook your toes around your left arm. Not your right arm, your right arm. And then maybe you can lean forward, right? And lift your back foot up off the floor. And maybe it's possible to extend your back leg, which makes it a slightly harder. Yeah. I want to stand up for a second. Oh. Pekapada, Galavasana, one-legged flying pigeon pose. Yes, Rachel? Oh, close. That's honestly, like, once you get your back foot up, it's like, how? How do I straighten? But it will happen. Just push your shin forward. Like, push it into your armpits. <laughs> That's all you have to do. And then it'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, shake it out and we're gonna do the other side. <sighs> All right. So you do, to, to what I was telling Rachel, the shin that's up, to move that the, the back leg away, the front shin has to get really active. And it's not easy because <laughs> your brain's like, what? <laughs> but you want to push it forward, like actively push your shin like with your leg muscles, you know, forward um, to get it to try and get it to stay there. Um, I found that was definitely the hard part. Like I could get my foot up and that was fine, but it was just like, I don't understand how both of those things happen, um, but it just takes time. But so let's try the other side because usually one side's easier than the other and you'll be able to do one before the other. Okay, down dog. <sighs> All right, sort of unceremoniously <laughs> downward facing dog. And then the right leg comes up and we cross the right ankle above the left knee. And we walk it back. <sighs> all right, so you just want to be in kind of a good spot on your mat so you can do all of this. First, we balance. Because just letting the hip soften and stretch for a few breaths is useful. Obviously, this requires a big stretch in your hip. <sighs> All right, so let the hips start to come down. Mm, right, and we'll get a little more closer to the floor. <laughs> and then a position that we can put our shin in our armpits. So as the hands come down, look to be able to plant the hands. So obviously if you're using blocks, you want them flat because there's no way you want the blocks up high and then you're trying to put your weight in them. So, oh, nice. There it goes. Oh. So close. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I know. You have to like keep calm, stay calm. <laughs> Lean forward. And then you really try and push your shin forward and kind of counterbalance the leg with a little extra lean. <sighs> yes. Nice. Oh, so close. It's hard and a little scary and a little, yeah, I know, I know, because you have to balance the leg moving back with you leaning forward because you have to like find the middle. I know it's, it's fun. It's a good one. That was one when I finally did it. I was like, oh, because <laughs> it took forever. Okay, back to the hands. <laughs> right. It took forever, but I finally did it. it was, and of course, I could do one side first, and then I, the other side, I was just like, ah. but finally, both. Yeah. <laughs> still, though, the first side that I could do first back then is still my easier side. Like, I can feel it when I do it. It still is. <laughs> I know, it still is. It's kind of crazy. So there you go. How many years? I've been able to do it for a long time. So it's like, I've been doing this for a long time. So it's kind of funny that even it doesn't matter because I always do both sides. I always, you know, like try, and, but it's just, that's how you are. That's how your brain is. Okay. Awesome. Um, you know how I like to have upside down time? Uh, 
And I feel like you're kind of game for upside downy things. So you guys at home, I know you have some upside downy stuff that you guys do. Um, feel free to use your wall, to use your furniture, because you know how we do the L shape with our feet on the wall? You can do the L shape with your feet on your sofa or whatever. If you don't have a free wall, you use this like a stable uh, big chair or sofa or even an ottoman will get your feet higher than the floor, which is closer to upside down, right? Your hips higher. So use, you use whatever you have. We have trees. Oh, the squirrel. I don't know if he wants us to go over there. <laughs> I know. They were wild the other day, right? So um, feel free to just play with kicking up if you want, or you can use the other tree, or I think I'm just gonna do a couple kicking ups here on my mat. And we'll just take a couple minutes because we don't have that much time, but we have a few minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, do your upside downiness, and we will do that here. <sighs> yes, pinch of my arasana. Our shoulders are nice and warm. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> Yes. Nice. I don't know if you feel how you feel about proximity, but I can spot you if you want me to. Are you okay with that? Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> All right. I got you. Oh, good kick. <laughs> okay. So press into my hand with your, with the balls of your feet, like press up. Yes, yes, good, good, come in. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, <laughs> it's nice to like, get all the way up there. I, I, I get it. <laughs> right? I know, even for me too, like some days it's just like, oh, how come it doesn't feel like this every time? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's do last call. Upside down. If you're at home and you're upside downing, wrap it up. One last kick up. One last. I've been trying to practice my, my pressing up like ab strength. <laughs> Which is partly why my abs are sore from yesterday. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> I have to like do a tiny little hop. I watched a video of myself pressing up from Bakasana into a handstand and I was like, Shh. <laughs> I want to do that again. So that's what I'm practicing right now. Just full disclosure, that's what's happening in my life. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Yeah, you can just play with, like, pulling a knee in, and it's so hard. I used to be able to do it. It's just so annoying. <laughs> it's just an aggravating part. Okay, let's do a couple back bends. Um, I'm trying to think kind of want to maybe do like Dhanurasana or something like that and get a good shoulder stretch. So let's come on our bellies. <laughs> I'm like, bridge pose? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. All right. That's what I was going to do, but I changed my mind in the moment. <laughs> so if you can, let's do Dhanurasana. Now, if this is just something that doesn't work for your body, please feel free to do bridge pose. They're actually quite similar. Okay, press the pubic bone down, curl the tailbone under that action, hug the legs in, kick the feet back, lift your chest up, oh, and then try and peel your thighs off the ground. Hug the knees in, kick your feet back. Oh, as the feet lift up, you'll get more stretch in your chest and your shoulders. Oh, and then slowly come on down. <sighs> so I know that back bend is a lot of work, but there's really a lot of sweetness there. So see if you can just breathe deeply and find the stretch 
and try and find a little stuka, a little stuka in your Dhanurasana. Okay, feet or ankles. Inhale, kick the feet back, lift up. Ah, oh, curl the tailbone under. Right, you can lift your chin, but you don't have to. Right, you don't have to. Scoop the heart, scoop the heart. Hug the knees in. Yes, come on down. Oh my goodness. It is very squeezy in the back body. <laughs> All right, one more. One more and that's it. We need some stretchy time. All right, grab on. Last time. Last one and then we're taking it down all the notches. <laughs> Curl the tailbone under, lift up. Lift the legs, lift the chest. Right, just feel the feels. Try not to think about the effort. How's your breath? Just feel the stretch, lift the legs. Inhale. All right, come on down. Whew. That's it, you're done. Oh, let the hips waggle. Maybe bend the knees and windshield wiper the shins. That famous yogic technique from the ancient yogis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Let's press back to child's pose. Oh my goodness. You know, we're making progress towards Shavasana. <laughs> when we get to this point. All right. Just let your head melt down towards the earth. Oh, we're gonna do a twist and then we still have time for one last hip stretch. All right, so from here, let's come up to hands and knees and we're gonna do a thread the needle with the upper body. So we'll just bring the left arm behind the right arm and then your shoulder and your head to the earth. And then with your, with your right leg, you can extend it back or out to the side or, you know, you can move it. It doesn't have to stay hands and knees. And then you can peel the chest open. Oh. Lengthen the right hip, well, no, left hip, left hip back. All right, and just let that stretch happen. Yeah, you can have your foot on the floor though, Rachel. It's easier probably if you just have it like back but down. Yeah. Okay. Unravel. Uh, through center. So try not to make it too worky. And let's do the other side. Reach and stretch it through. Oh my goodness. Oh. That stretch, it's so nice. And then again, the back, the, well, it's not really your back leg, but the kind of free leg, I guess, the, the left leg can go straight back or out to the side or, you know, and then you can get a little more space to open up. It just gives me such a nice stretch in my, in my back. Lengthen the, the standing leg hip away. So maybe that's your right hip. All right, and then slowly oh, unravel back to center. Oh, a moment. So um, if you're up for, we don't have a ton of time, but um, a, a single pigeon pose, we won't stay there that long to be perfectly honest, but we can still do it. And it's a nice forward fold too. So one shin, maybe your right shin, forward. Walk the back leg back. Oh, right. And then we forward fold. Oh, just come on in out over the leg. Hmm. So we've done a little bit of this today, this shape with our legs. So just see how it feels right now. Maybe you get a little deeper into the stretch than you usually do, or I don't know, just notice how you feel. I don't want to set up any sort of expectations about something. Mm. All right, so it's not going to be the longest hold ever. Like we sometimes are in here at this post for minutes. Um, so it's only going to be about a minute on each side. So 
That means you don't have too much more time here. So really try and soften for these last few breaths. All right, let go of all that extra tension. Lengthen your exhales. Let's take one more breath. And then if you don't mind, today we're gonna exit through sitting down. So as you come up, you can just lean over to the side and bring your back leg forward. Just remember which was your front leg. Maybe it's your right leg. Yeah, and we'll bring both legs out front and just do a quick Dandasana, Paschimottanasana in between our two sides. So let's reach up. Oh, yeah, and go forward and stretch. <sighs> All right, and just let that stretch happen. Let the spine get nice and long. Here too, trying to soften the neck, the jaw. Any extra tension. All right, one more breath here. And slowly on your next inhale, come up. And exhale, release all the way up. And let's switch sides. So I'm gonna just bend, walk me, sweep the right leg back. And just take a second to set yourself up. And get your leg in the right position, walk the back leg back any amount, add props if you need, if you have. All right, oh, let the hips melt down. And forward fold, oh, however much. All right, and just see how it feels. Notice how your hips feel. Hmm. Even if you can't do the arm balance, it doesn't matter. You're still getting all that nice work in your hips, all that stretching and, you know, it, it's, it's fun if you can't do something and then you can slowly over time start to feel that you can. So just, you know, enjoy the work. <sighs> Let your hips reap that benefit and just soften in right now. Lengthen the exhale. Take a few more breaths here. Last little bit in this awesome stretch. One more big breath, inhale. And just sigh it out. <sighs> All right, slowly, slowly, come on up. This time, if you want to do a down dog and shake the legs out or anything like that, totally go for it. Oh my goodness. Ah, all right. Yeah, and then it's lying down time. We did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I managed to end class, all right? <laughs> Let's lie down. If you like, hug the knees in one last time. Apanasana, you can rock a little side to side. You could do a happy baby. Kick the heels out. Oh, that feels pretty good, actually. <sighs> Whatever you like. And then, right, like Shavasana, under the trees. <laughs> Or wherever you are, just get comfortable, right? Let your body soften, <sighs> everything heavy. Breath soft, steady, right? Eyes closed. Your whole body relaxed. Mm. Your whole body resting in Shavasana.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes as you wake yourself up. If you want to take a stretch, reach the arms, stretch the legs. Just take your time. And gently hug your knees. Give them a little squeeze, maybe rock a little side to side. And then rolling onto your right side. Take a moment. Savor Shavasana. And then use your hands and press the earth away and come on up to seated. <clears throat> and as you come to sit, we'll close our eyes. And just notice. Right, take a moment to tune in and just notice how you feel. Notice what's shifted. What's different from when you started your practice. And bringing the hands at the heart, thumbs to the sternum. Inhale, lifting the heart to the hands. Exhale, bowing gently in. Oh, grateful that we have this beautiful practice, this opportunity to, to move our bodies and quiet the mind. Grateful. I'm grateful for what else? What else? Just takes one thing, right? Just feel gratitude. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for practice, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Namaste. Namaste. Namaha. All right, beautiful. Thank you. Love the park. All right, my Zoom people. Oh, hey, I see you. <laughs> Hi, Charlene. <laughs> Good to see your face. Good to see you. That was wonderful. Thank you.